Hi everybody, we're going to be doing a reading today and see what's coming in. I hope everybody's great. Um, welcome if you're new to my channel. Um, I did start pulling some cards from the Wild Wood Tarot. Um, we have the Five of Vessels, Ecstasy, the Four of Arrows, Rest, the Great Bear, Judgment card, number 20. Set over something, but all, oh, it's good now. We have the Great Bear, we have the Ace of Vessels, the Ace of Cups, love pouring into your cup or into uh, a situation, the waters of life. Um, after a time of sorrow, um, you, sh you know, the Five of Cups was all about endurance. We have the Three of Arrows, so that's about um, heartbreak situation that's causing a lot of pain for you at this time. Um, we have the Queen of Bows, the Queen of Wands, the hair, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy with the sun. Let's get a few more. Me and my mom were bickering. She doesn't want another dog here, so um, I already have a friend, a friend's house lined up. I am going to be probably moving in this weekend with her because I can't have the dog. It's ridiculous. But anyway. They're my emotional support. That's that's why um, I like my dogs. Whoa! I have makeup running down my face. So. <sighs> and my um, my boss owes me ten ten hours of work, so I'm a little upset about that too. Who just forgets to pay 10 hours worth of work. So I've been looking for um, another part-time job too. I need to get my truck on the road, so I'm just going through some stuff right now. Okay, we have the Wanderer, the Fool. Aries Energy. The Two of Cups, the Vessel. Let's roll the dice and see what zodiac signs um, you could be dealing with. It says Scorpio, Sagittarius, Virgo, Cancer, Leo, and Aries. We also have Libra and Pisces. Number 8, 12, 4, 7, 11, and 3. All right, sorry about that, guys. I'm going to pull a spirit animal and see what spirit wants you to know at this time. I did make this oracle deck myself a while ago. Also, I've been working on the um, Revere, the Gilded Revere Lenard um, oracle, the guidebook. I didn't come with a guidebook when I got it a while ago. And I just ordered um, a lot of pretty crystals. Um, so I will be Having, I just was thinking Bumblebee Jasper, and then at the bottom of my oracle um, was the B card. So that's funny. I ordered like a Phantom Quartz, uh, a gold peacock, or I go on magic.com and I got a lot, found a lot of them on there. We have the chameleon, the fox, and the dove. So yeah, you're trying to blend in and adapt to a situation. You're showing agility. The fox says cunning, agility, quick-wittedness, diplomacy, um, wildness, and camouflage, shape-shifting, and invisibility, which also, if you use the heliotrope, the um, dragon blood jasper, um, you can actually... Um, 
put the intentions in the stone with that dark magic for dark times book and you can use the stone um the dragon blood jasper to cloak yourself and to protect yourself and i actually did that with this crystal all right kind of in the mood for some reiki beyond healing healing and beyond on um, youtube um universal reiki master michael is very good so we have um, the B says healing, efficient communication, and interaction, um, endurance, and tenacity, capacity to imagine and build, observe, and gain uh, true understanding, sweetness of life, love, sharing, authenticity, fertility, productivity, support, and encouragement, affinity with uh, light and divine, harmony with rhythm of nature and light and vitality. And we have the chameleon. Fast change, adaptability, blending with uh, and keeping a low profile. One eye on the future, one eye on the, on the past. Um, unique, usual skills, slow, conscious, uh, slow, conserves energy well. Lizard people perceive life differently. Um, what's that say? Hanging, hanging, hinging, how you feel when you feel it necessary, you change on a dime. And we have the dove. Peace, love, devotion, navigation, messages, grace, gentleness, purity, the Holy Spirit, the human soul, and hope. Black dove means change, transition, brown is nurturing, feminine, pregnancy, gray is uh, dormant intuition being awakened and the spotted is mel melancholy birds goddess and forgiveness god's love and forgiveness those are just different spotted ones um many other we have the deer and the bobcat with the moth at the bottom the deer is spiritual authority, regeneration, gentleness, awareness of surroundings, unconditional love, and mindfulness. Innocent, kindness, grace, good luck, good omen, and means your spirit guides are watching over you. The bobcat, the moth is about um, fertility, immediate, immediacy, transformation, attachment, nighttime, disguise, unconditional love, spirits, intuition, and psychic abilities, active at night. Butterflies are active in the day. Only difference between the moth and a butterfly and their antennas. And then we have the bobcat. Stealth and discretion, independent, freedom, isolation, periods of reflection and solitary, ties to the unknown and secrecy, ancient soul wisdom, powerful when you need to uncover secrets. Maybe some of you guys could start working with the, the bobcat. Um, any of those animals, have? they all have really good traits and I'm just I'm so irritated right now and I'm like in awe I'm really disgusted truly um okay so yeah the five of cups the four of swords the great bear judgment the ace of cups three of swords the queen of wands the sun the fool and the two of cups looks like you're going to be walking into a whole new um Experiencing a whole new um, freedom, a new path of liberation, um, choices, maybe some for some consequences um, to a new um, lover, um, a partner, a soulmate. So it looks like you've been seeking this out for a very long time um, and your wishes are about to be fulfilled. You're going to walk right into um, a whole new love and wish fulfillment. So everything looks great. We have the chariot and archangel Zedekiel, violet star or soul star forgiveness, tolerance and diplomacy will bring joy back into your life if you ask. And today I actually am feeling called to wear my archangel pendant with my blue aventurine and black tourmaline. Um, because right now I really could use the extra support. And I will be praying and working with Freya and um, Santa Morte and my deities and 
the Holy Mother of Death. Um, so yeah, I could really use some support at this time. Doby. <laughs> All right, let's get the overall energy. We have the Empress coming out, abundant giver of life and fertility with the Empress twice. I do have, um, I made two Oracle decks, all majors, or tarot, sorry, um, for one for each room where I record, but I combined them. So we have the Empress twice coming out. So we know that it's fertile, abundant, abundance, giver of life, fertility, and we have the Hierophant at the bottom. Um, that is all about counsel, law, and study, and that is Taurus energy. So you are not wanting to follow um, the rules right now to the book. Um, you're taking life into your own hands, your, you know, your choices, your reactions. You're not playing by someone's rules. Um, you know, my channel is for 18 and older, so obviously... You're an adult here if you're on my channel. Um, 18 and up, 17 and up, whatever. The legal age, whatever you want to call it. Where you're an adult. I feel like age is just a number. So if you feel like you're grown and you're wise during your years, then and you, you call yourself grown, then I'm all for it. Okay? So let's keep going. Let's see um, the person moving towards you. All right, we have the death card coming out. Journey. Inward. There you go. Nighttime. We have the seven of arrows and security. We have the ten of bows. Responsibility. We have four of stones. Four of pinnacles. Protection. And we have number eight. Uh, strength. The stag. Leo energy. Yeah. Somebody is holding you close to their heart. Just right now. While doing a lot of also work, introspection, that ten of wands. Um, they do have some insecurities here. But fear not. Um, Queen of Cups, Vessel. You guys will balance each other out. You guys will um, overcome whatever. I don't feel like there's a, lo a lot of storms or a big storm, so to speak. But your person is going through um, some type of growth, change, transformation, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. We have the two of bows uh, decision at the bottom. Could also be dedication. We also have the six of arrows transitioning, six of swords. And we have the archer um, number seven, which is the chariot forward movement. Let's get two more cards, please, for their energy. We have the knight of vessels, the eel, the knight of cups. Yeah, they're moving literally right towards you. Let's get one more. The Seven of Stones healing. Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you both could be healing at this time. We have the Seer, the High Priestess underneath at the bottom. It's the overarching energy um, between you guys. Let's get your overall energy. Eight of Bows, Four of Bows. Um, could be your birthday year. Could be in 84. Um... All of that would be maybe 36. I'm not sure. But either way, um, very intuitive, practical. I see you guys really forming a true, solid, full, meaningful, blissful um, connection. Let's get your overall energy collective. And then we will get your person's overall energy. Okay. Ah, we have the lovers. This one did, was the only one on the floor that flipped upright. We have the shaman. That's the magician, number one. We have the queen of stones, the bear, which is the queen of pentacles. We have the three of cups, joy. We have the forest lovers, um, Gemini energy, the lovers. We have the world at the bottom, the world tree. Eight of bows under that. That's communication. Um, we have the moon on water. The moon. Motions. Somebody is being very stubborn. I heard the ram. We have knight of stones, knight of pentacles, slow moving. We have the king of arrows. Um, kingfisher, which is a type of bird. Which is the 
king of swords gemini energy and we have the eight of vessels rebirth eight of cups so yeah you are walking away as you walk and get out of a situation and walk away from it you will probably meet or bump right into your person when you stop looking and you stop trying let's get your person's overall energy moving towards um, or what is uh, I'm just moving towards yeah what is your person's overall energy so let me know what you guys think in the comments so my new number has 666 in it which my brother thought that that was like a double number and I said no it's a, um, actually keeping your um being positive as changes as you're going through your life keep a positive outlook so i even told him last night that's a big misconception let me know what you guys think about that number 666 and if you guys um feel the same way if you know that's a misconception as well what your thoughts what other people's thoughts and opinions are we have the king of cups the heron we have the three of bows fulfillment with the shaman number one Gemini, Virgo energy, um, like I said, shifting, manifesting. We have the five of bows, empowerment. And thank God you guys are 18 and up because there is a penis in this card. <laughs> All right. Um, eight of cups. So, yeah, that's I asked what another one. I wanted to get two more for your overall energy so that there's equal on both sides. Three and three. Um, 14 balance. So somebody see that black, somebody was causing, bringing poison, unbalancedness in your life. Um, so also I know the half black, half red candles are really good for, um, reversing binding spells and reversal spell work. But if you already have power and confidence in your power, um, and courage and all that strength, and know what you're capable of, your strengths and weaknesses, and you don't mind manifesting with dark, the dark realm and all that, and you consider yourself a god or goddess, I would do watch a lot of a sheer goddess, then you um, know that since you started day one, since you started your spiritual journey, that you are protected, and that you don't fear anybody or anything or any entities or the unseen, that's just part of, you know, knowing who you are so there's a lot of work soul work that's tied in and has to be done because for years actually growing up i had um been around a lot of dark things and i've experienced and seen dark entities and i always fear the devil and the demon and i always was like how do people not fear it and then actually going through it and doing a lot of watching of her videos on youtube I understand that some people do need that, like me, who have a huge heart and can be easily taken advantage of kindness for weakness and so on and so forth. People like us actually need um, those dark entities um, just as much as people who are dark need good entities. It's like an equal balance. You can't have the world is so um, dynamic, you know, and complex these days that if you're too nice, it doesn't get you anywhere. And if you're, you know, the opposite, same effects. So, you know, I actually don't mind working with Santa Morte, even though she's not considered bad or evil. But yeah, so now I understand why and how not to fear dark things and entities and how you can actually use them to your advantage. Because you need to carry that. If you say, like for me, for like Satan or a demon or entity that people that aren't very spiritually awake don't know anything about and they see that you're working with that element or whatever they're gonna you know fear you more because they're not gonna know what you're capable of so yeah you can actually use it to your advantage you get what I'm saying and I had a bad dream last night of leprechauns like there was a couple of them so I'm gonna grab my dream interpretation book and I'm gonna see if it's got that in there. Because
because I did look it up yesterday and or today and leprechauns are actually something that like you're not to, you're not um claiming your power or you know it's basically ugh, you're missing out on yeah don't worry I spit in my clamp um basically the rites of passage so you're you have fears you're you're being held back in life by something and you have some doubts and insecurities about um your life and I can totally resonate with that with being the whole puppy thing you know JKL. So I am taking a stand and I am going to move out if that be the case. And you know, it really shouldn't be that big of a deal because it is my life and I'm 30 years old. I'm a grown adult, technically. If I want to go out and buy myself a dog, I should be able to. And I take care of it. But whatever. That's not the case here, so I'll move out. If that's whatever. I'm not going to be stressed out um, for something that I feel will benefit me in many ways and that I need and want and live without. So I'm not going to live my life miserably. So I'm making a conscious decision to move out so I can have my dog. Yeah, Leprechaun isn't in this book, but yeah. So it makes sense. It ties in. Um, all right. With that being said, let's clarify. We're going to use the um, Del Fuego tarot. And it's a, it's not Spanish. It's, Eng it's still English writings. Seven of Wands, Five of Swords. Yeah, defending yourself. Okay, why is the Five of Cups here? For my collective. Why is the five of cups here? And the card says ecstasy. The nine of wands. Putting yourself in situations where you keep having to, you know, carry this hurt and sadness and sorrow and grief and anger around when you don't have to. So I am going to be in this cherry energy and get out of the situation that's holding me back. Making me feel unhappy and at ease. You know, I shouldn't have to. No. All right. So we have the three of wands, the king of swords, the seven of swords, and the four of swords. Yeah. You may feel as if you are blindfolded or somebody is pulling the the cloth over your eyes. Um, you're pretty much stabbing your own self in the chest here. That king of swords with the sword there. Um, so you are taking those wands and you're going to use them as your legs. No. You're going to move out of the situation. We have the king of wands here at the bottom. There is a lot of eyes in this deck. So I don't know. That may be a sign maybe for some of you is that you guys have a lot of um, opportunities or just a lot of eyes surrounding you right now. I kept the Seven of Swords, the King of Swords out. So take this, take it how it resonates, like always. All right, let's get the Four of Swords, please. Why is the Four of Swords here for my viewers at this time? We have the Hermit and the Strength card. You're really um, maybe holding it together when everything else around you seems like it, um, like it fails. And I have another book I've been um, studying. Hey, baby. Come here. Come here. I've been studying um, a lot of the pendulums. This is Dobby. Say hi, baby. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> He's wearing his punk rat hoodie. His shirt. Good boy. Which he'll have three other chihuahuas to play with where we're going and a corgi and two cats. So he will be happy. He will be in his glory. This is the book. 
It's called the Psychic Spellcraft. So I've been doing a lot of research on the crystals, and I just, like I said, I ordered a whole bunch of them this morning from magic.com. M-A-G-I-C-K. Why is the four swords here? Sorry, I'm like all over the place. <laughs> Got a little bit of everything going on today. The Wheel of Fortune. You're, you're, um, you have a turn of fate. The wheel is turning for you to kind of be happier, be freer, be lighter. We have that butterfly there. That's all about the soul. Maybe revival or retrieval. It even tells you in that book what the flickerings, um, the candle flame, what it means, and all your freckles and birthmarks all on your body. So mine is really low, and it's not burning evenly. I'm going to dump some of the wax out. Um, that could mean things are being blocked right now for you um, in your life. Um, when the flame is really high, um, there's no blockages. And when the flame is spitting at you or crackling or popping, it means spirit is wanting to communicate. If the flame doesn't go out, they're still um, trying to communicate. If it is really low, like I said, there's blockages, but if it's um, also like moving really, really fast, it means that spirit is with you and trying to connect with you. They're present. So yeah, there's a lot of interesting things in that book. Why is the judgment card here, the great bear? And I do have to be mindful of the time. I have an appointment at 12, so it's 1114. I got up at like five, no, like four thirty this morning, and I've been up since six of pentacles. You're literally this guy's pointing his finger, and blood's dripping, and roses are prominent here. So this could be um, the everlasting rose, the love of a lifetime. Um, red also we know means romance and uh, love. And maybe like lust and passion and all that. So, all right, let's get the Ace of Cups. I'm hearing like brand new adventure, brand new starts, journeys. Um, so yeah, you're gonna be very um, in this new chapter or new life, so to speak. Um, even if for some of you, if you guys are physically moving, Six of Wands, you guys are gonna have a victory in any endeavor, whatever you put your heart and mind to, I feel like at this time for you. So be on the lookout for some good things coming your way. Why is the three of swords here? Hey, baby. What are you doing? All right, we had three, four cards that dropped here. Oh, the ace of cups. This is another inappropriate card. That's the ace of cups. Love. It's funny, right next to the other one. Three of Cups, King of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. With the High Priestess at the bottom, number two. The Priestess. So yeah, you are using your intuition. That horse has the key. And the key to the safe, the box. And there is light being shed here. So, there's that rose growing underneath him. I don't know if those are little ghosts. Or like little flowers, but... See how this heart is also bleeding, bleeding love, and then there's a flame. So you're pretty much burning um, this old part of yourself out. You're, you're drowning it out. You're capsating it, whatever you want to call it, um, where you're moving past it. You're, you're growing. You're in a new phase. You are taking literally the reins here of your life with that um, Knight of Wands. So... And we have the Ace of Cups. I'll leave that out too. All right. So you are going to heal. I will get better. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Collective. Two of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. That's the Knight of Pentacles. Here's the Two of Swords. But you will come, you know, obviously with, with big changes come requires... Um, decisions so yeah it's like a heart over mind or your the swords like through his eyes and his lips so you might not be telling anybody right now about 
how you're feeling or your plans. You're kind of just going to, you know, jump to jump to the the outcome and then you're going to eventually open up and let people know what's going on. Why is the sun card here? We have the hangman with the devil at the bottom. And the sun. You need to overcome something very toxic before you can literally we're clarifying the sun here um, with the sun at the bottom. That's funny. Get the desired results that you are seeking. All right, let's get the wander, the fool. And this is a pretty nice deck. It's pretty um it's pretty heavy. Why is the wander here the fool? And in the other day's reading, we had the rainbow. So, um, Spirit's telling telling you, um, don't look either way. Like, if you look or don't look, just go into arms wide open, no expectations, and take the jump, take the leap of faith, because Spirit um, is going to catch you. They're not going to let you fall. <clears throat> we have the King of Cups at the bottom. Why is the full card here? Queen of Wands, and she has a smile on her face, so you can see that um, the reward is going to be very um, rewarding and plenty, you know, happy at the end. You're going to get the des desired results. We have the Ten of Wands, yeah. You're going to drop that burden. All right, let's get the last card. Why is the Two of Cups here? Ten of Cups, Ace of Swords going to speak some type of truth after all is said and done. And you could even have new friendships come in on the horizon as well. We have the Queen of Cups. Beautiful energy. Clarifying that Two of Cups. Alright, let's get um, your persons and then we will clarify both of you guys' overall energy. Why is the stag here? The star card? The sun. Beautiful. Leo. Double Leo energy. Could have two placements. And we have the four of swords. Why is the journey card here? The fool. Or the death card. The hermit. Your person's going inwards, introspection, literally. Like I said, they, I don't know, they could be going through a dark night of the soul. I'm wearing that, um, that Jasper, that spider Jasper, sorry, that's what it's called. But I, I was looking at this green calcite and it's drawing me to it, so. I don't know, I might carry it on, on me today. I don't know, I might put it on, we'll see. Why is the four stones here a protection? Four stones that's hanging on to something. That's a, a fawn, so that's a baby deer in the image. Ooh, we have the star, I was going to say. That's a beautiful card. We literally have that came out. You will not, you will be so surprised. The star and the empress. Both one and they come out. Wow, that's beautiful energy. Beautiful energy with the strength card at the bottom. Why is the Ten of Bows here? The Magician. Yeah, your person's manifesting themselves right out of this um, heavy, burdensome, explosive, toxic um, energy. Very nice. Let's get the Seven of Arrows. That's insecurity. I feel like after they've been beaten down by life or went through many storms. Ace, Ace of Wands at the bottom. We have the Eight of Wands and we have the World. They're going to wrap up some major, um, I don't know, some of you, your person could be also going through a brand new fresh start cycle. They could even be moving or um, if they're not, they could be um, still going through something major in their life. Take it how it, how it resonates. Let's get the six of arrows transition. Um, 
Spirit's telling me something about warning you about the next full moon cycle. Make sure you pay attention to the cycles right now. We are in the waning. Um, that's a good time to release. And then when the waxing comes, comes back around, um, that's a good time to pull in, to manifest. So on the full moon, that's the highest, um, fullest time frequency vibration to pull in exactly what you want, manifest. And do your uh, spirit work, your spell work. We have the two of wands, yeah. Uh, conclusions are within reach. I'm feeling like, why is the archer here? The, the chariot with the Irish wolfhounds. The ace of pentacles. All right. Waiting on a news, a letter. There is a teardrop, so I don't know if they are going through a hard time where they're at, at work, their workplace, but things will, um, are bound to get better in the future. Why is the Knight of Cups here, the Knight of Vessels, the Eel, the Nine of Wands? Again, twice they had the Nine of Wands. I think, yeah. All right, let's see. Why is the, um, so it, this tells me that they're having a hard time right now as far as their heart space goes in regards to love. They may have some catching up to do. Let's get one more for that nine, Knight of Cups. Ten of Cups. But they're going to get there. They're going to reach their, um, they're going to reach you. They're going to reach their healing, healing stages. All right, let's get, yeah, seven of stones healing, literally. The hierophant at the bottom. The candle, the light is, is um, being shown the way the light is on for this person. So they're both lit. One's not out. So that means it's balanced. It's something that is within reach that's sustainable. Why is the Seven of Stones here healing? So it's not too far out of your personal reach. Um, and I feel like you guys will be communicating if you don't know who this person is. Um, for some of you, it may be a brand new, uh, fresh pr new start of a new person. King of Wands and the Priestess with the Seven of um, Pentacles, Seven of Stones. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and we have Gemini, Virgo energy here. All right, now let's get the overall, which is number two this year. High Priestess energy. the pentacles you may be getting a new job you may be getting um promotions or raise at a new at a job but this does have to do with money something stable um the glass is full there some of you may call it half full after going through a long hard drawn worn out battle okay, we have the five of swords and the chariot Four pentacles. Let's get why for your real energy. Why is the eight of cups here with the lovers and the and temperance balance? We have the six of cups, the knight of swords, and the seven of pentacles at the bottom. This has something to do with the past you were hanging on to for so long that you're finally. Um, feeling like it's not bringing you balance anymore right around Easter time. Something may have happened or um, it's going to be this Easter. April, wait, January, February, 
March, April. Okay, so something big is going to, um, a confirmation for some of you is going to be this Easter. Um, something big is going to surreal. Um, a big change in your life is taking place. In your and I think by um, that marks the end or a completion time of some of all of this um, changes going on here. So I think by Easter time, things will um, begin to settle down for you. Why is confirmation? Why is the balance card here? Temperance energy. We'll go out in a minute, baby. Was your hoodie coming off? Taking his hoodie off. Ace of Wands, Five of Cups, Seven of Cups, Two of Cups, the Hierophant at the bottom. So something that wasn't bringing you inspiration or passion has left you feeling very uneasy. Five of Cups. Um, you knew you had options all along, Two of Cups, but um, you felt like you're beating a dead horse as far as relationships goes. Relationships, uh, yeah, gone or goes. Um, maybe some of you now are seeing you have options, so you can, you know, either look for new work or expand kind of to reach this ton of pentacles here. And you're using your intuition as well as your um, logic, your emotions. It's all kind of being tied in together. So I'm going to leave the Seven of Cups out. All right, let's get your person's overall energy with the Three of Bows, the King of Cups, and the Shaman, which is the Magician. Is the three of bows here. expanding eight of swords after feeling a time like you needed you were stuck in your head or trapped you needed to expand you know i'm also getting some stagnation energy there why is the king of cups here being felt like you were confined or boxed in feeling like you didn't have your power so now you or your person is taking their power back we have the um, Knight of Pentacles with the King of Cups. It's taken a long time, but um, I feel like you both are getting there now. Why is the Shaman here? The Chariot. So that's manifesting, being your own best advocate, having um, your own resources at this time. You have everything you need to manifest exactly what it is your heart, true heart's desires. We have the King of Pentacles, something that's solid, long-term, lasting, um, solid uh, foundation, makes you happy. So you're reaping um, the person or you is not reaping that reward. And we have the death card. So that's, but it comes without a say. Something has to be changed um, or cut out of your life in order to reap these benefits. The spirit, spirit already wants to give, give you these gifts. Um, but with the two of swords, you know, things have your cups, things have to change. Things aren't balanced right now in order to get, you know, the celebration, this victory that you've been secretly or longing for, um, for so long, this urgency about it. So let's get one more.
the Knight of Pentacles. Yep. Reaching for the stars. Okay, we have the Queen of Swords at the bottom. All right, is there anything else that we need to know? Let's pull some love cards. Let's see how the person, um, whether this person is the new person or your current person. Let's see what they want to say. Their thoughts, feelings, and attention towards you. I know you are the one and that scares me and I wish it was less complicated. You're so beautiful to me and I know you're the one and that scares me. Walking away from you made me realize how much I love you. And I need some space right now. Don't push me, please. Yeah. I feel ashamed of what I've been doing with my life. So this is what they could be feeling or thinking right now. This is why they're trying so hard to get ahead with that ton of wands. Nine of Wands energy. I'm not ready to reach out to you. I've been trying to forget about you, but I can't. I can feel that magnetic pull towards you, and I get triggered at the thought of you. Anything else? Angels and Spirit Guides. Yeah, and I have a lot of stuff here, too. So I'm going to have a lot of stuff to bring with me and I don't plan on leaving a lot of my shit here depending on how big the room is there your eyes are enchanting and I may be running but my soul wants you only I'm scared to commit to you I need my freedom now and I regret how I've handled this situation I know I've let you down yeah, your person definitely um, has only eyes for you I'm trying to distract myself from thinking of you, and I need some alone time now. I get two more. I'm scared of being vulnerable with you, and I know our souls are intertwined. I want to be with you, but I'm scared. So that's all I have for you. Um, I will probably be posting later on tonight. I have an appointment to go to right now, but till I see you guys, stay tuned, stay blessed, and uh, check out my page. I do have my Amazon wish list, um, my, all my information if you'd like to donate or book a personal reading. Stay, stay blessed. Take care now. Bye.